Oliver Sparkler, written by Jenny Lewis. One day in early autumn, Oliver noticed a pile of wood in the field next to his branch line. It wasn't doing anything much, just sitting there. The next day, the pile had grown larger, and the day after that, it was larger still. On top of a branches and stick of wood, someone had put an old broken chair. At last, Oliver could contain his curiosity no longer and asked his driver if he knew what the mysterious pile of wood was for. His driver laughed. <laughs> well, you know what day it is tomorrow, Oliver, don't you? It's November the 5th. November the 5th? What's so special about November the 5th? Oliver asked. His driver told him to wait until the next day to find out. The next day came and Oliver and Thomas found themselves being loaded up with huge bags of potatoes and pack after pack of bread rolls and sausages along with several large brightly coloured boxes. Oliver asked Thomas if he knew what was going on. Thomas knew that 5th of November was fireworks night and that there would be a big bonfire party in the field next to Oliver's branch line. But he didn't want to spoil the surprise for Oliver, so he just smiled and said, It's a surprise, but I think whatever it is, it'll bring a sparkle to your eyes. Later that day, as he pulled into a station, Oliver saw a crowd of people wearing woolly hats, scarves and gloves, all talking excitedly about going to the field where the bonfire was. He heard a little girl asking, I hope you remember the sparklers, mommy. Oliver's driver saw that Oliver couldn't wait any longer to find out what the secret was. Come on then, Oliver, let's go to the bonfire party, he said. Oliver stopped in a siding near the wood where the bonfire was now brightly burning. Flames leapt into the air and the people all crowded round with rosy faces lit up by the warm glow. Suddenly there was a bang, crash and swish. A stream of light shot into the air and exploded into the mass of coloured stars. Then another one went off and then another. Oliver looked on in amazement. He was enjoying his first firework display very much. A bit later on, some people noticed Oliver and his driver watching and brought them over a hot potato and a sausage and best of all, a sparkler. Oliver thought the sparkler looked just like a magic wand. At last, he understood what Thomas meant when he said that surprise would bring a sparkle into his eyes. The end.